So right now Mark is going to be showing me how to sharpen my own skates. He's easily one of the best in the business. It's going to be great to learn from a legend how to do this. I've always wanted to know so I can stop using automated machines and actually use a proper sharpener. So let's take a look. Okay, so our machine is already set uh, at a half inch hollow. So the hollow, so that's your, you got a pretty good bite on that one. But before we start, I just want to, for you to get a feel of the machine because um, sharpening skates for me is an art. It's not just getting on a machine and, and grinding away. It's really about getting a precise sharpening. You want uh, a proper balance. You have to have a proper radius forward and also down the middle of the blade. And so um, one of the things that I want you to know is you can sharpen your skates either toe forward or heel forward. But as long as both skates are sharpened in the same way. If you sharpen one this way and one that, that way, then you're going to run into problems. So you, you, whatever way is more comfortable. I have received, learned, I've been sharpening skates for 30 plus years. I have been sharpening for the longest time toe first. But the last 15 years, I've been sharpening heel first. And I just, a preference that I just took on myself. And so uh, I'm going to set the machine up. Sure. So um, your center of the boot is always the front of your top pilot here. If you go down, this is going to give you a center of a blade. And so we want to place the center of the blade in line with here mm -hmm. on the arm. Okay. So this is, and so when you come on, your blade just comes and leans up against, butts up against the, the holder. This is your center of your boot. Come over the top and we line it up with the inside of the post. And then we lean it up against the front of the holder. The cam comes in. We'll do a slight adjustment. And the cam should lock at around 11 o'clock. This was a clock. And that, so if you feel this, you'll have, have a sense of where the, the cam is. Just pull the cam up so you have a sense of where it is. Yeah. So right around 11 o'clock. So you want, so now you're centered. You're in your center of your boot. Now, uh, because these are brand new blades, we're going to cross grind. Cross grind is going to bring a, a nice even square. So we're going to square the blade even. And then we're going to come on the finishing stone and then we'll... Uh, finish with a half inch hollow. So just to have a sense on what, so you have a sense of what the machine is doing. Uh, I want you with one hand just to roll the blade like this. So th this is going to give you a sense of the speed and the pressure that you need to apply the blade on the stone. Because when you're starting, number one thing is people tend to want to push hard and you don't need to push hard. It's a very gentle. And what you do is you follow the shape of the blade. And you, so you find the center of your stone, you come in and you lean and you just slowly glide it across. So this is your steering, mm -hmm. this is your drive. So you come over here, and you just follow through like this. And the sense that you have, that's what you want to do. So just to give you a muscle memory on there. Center of the, center of the stone. Right there? Yep. And, and follow, just... follow, oh. Uh. Yeah, geez, so you have to steer, I see yeah, what I mean. You see what I mean? There yeah. you go. Like this? That's it. And then follow and then you turn. That's, oh, that's good. Try it again. Watch. Go in. Yep. Keep it at the center of the stone. Okay. At the center of the stone. That's where your contact is. And then look at, I'm going to steer and I'm going to rotate f up. Yeah. I see, I you see, see how I the see. boot has come out? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So what you're doing is you're following the, 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 the rocker of the blade. And you come down center and you follow through. We're maintaining contact in well, the center. In the center. And so, I see, I see. So do it with one hand so you have a sense of how much pressure to put on that stone. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. There you go. Like so. There you go. One more time with two? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so right there. Yep. Very good. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to put the machine on. Oh dear. And, and we're going to start with a cross grind. Okay. I'll do the first two passes and then I'm going to let you do it. So <laughs> it should take about, depending on how the new blades, five to seven passes to get it square. And I'll show you and then I'll get you on the machine and then. I'll get you to finish. Sounds okay. Good. Again, we always want to hit the center of the blade. And we follow. Okay. And if you flip, you see you have a oh, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see you see you got the center on here? You wanna try it? Oh dear. <laughs> Try it again. Oh, it's really hot. Jeez. 
does it matter? I, I'm only hitting the center. Yeah, but yeah, try, try to keep it in the center if you can. It's difficult. There you go. And you have to try to keep even pressure right here. Let me try it again. I'll it show you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you take it. Always in the center. Maintain the same speed. And the same pressure. Okay. So now you go and look. So, now if you look at the light, you see here at the top is all done. But on the bottom, there's a little bit left. And if you run your fingers across it, you can see that there's an edge. See, you don't have the edge there. Yes. You see that? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Soft. So, so you now you have to do a couple more passes. Okay. Is that okay? That looks good. One more. Do it again. A little less pressure on the toe. It becomes a lot easier after about a hundred pairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really hard to stay in the center as I'm coming to the top. Yes, and, and see what happens? You, you made a little square, right? You can I actually, see. you can see. So you want to keep those straight. Nice and steady. So it's timing, pressure, and follow through all together. Now, if you look at the blade, yeah. so now yeah. not in the cross. So, yeah, we'll, so now when we come over to the finishing stone, so I'm going to show. I'm going to show you a little trick. Okay. okay. So you you tap. I've seen people do this. Tap. And you flip over. Make sure that we're centered. Okay. So again, you try to find your center. I think this will be easier because it's not this way. Yeah. yeah. Nice flow. And if you do a first look, check. So you're right down the middle. Cool. Go ahead. That was very good. Is that good? That was good. You just have to, yeah, do it, absolutely. Go Slow ahead. it down? No, no, go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. You got a good rhythm there. Oh. Don't worry about it. Keep flowing through. Okay. One more time. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you fall, it's your fault. There you go. Now look at it, see where you're up to. So you see you're, you're still have some over here. You're, and you see how you, you were pushing a little bit quicker on a toe? And that's why it's darker. So you're putting a little too much pressure and that heats up the blade. So you got, that's why it's very important to keep an even flow. And, and that's normal. Anybody who, who tends to start to learn the sharpening, they tend to push into the corners. Yes, and so, bane of pressure so you don't burn. So again, you go nice and slow. We'll do it again. And then you rotate up all the way to the point. And so you keep that same pressure so you don't, you're not pushing into or driving into it. Go ahead. Better. Yeah. Do it again. Yep, go again. Slow down here and then turn. There you good. Try one more time. Very good. Let's take a look where you at. There you go. So you just have a little bit more. You see on the bottom here and there. So a couple more passes. Done. 
just oh, a little tiny bit there. Just a tiny bit there. Give it a couple of passes. Keep going. Good. Slow down when you get to the point over here and then turn. Use your turning and turn it all the way. Follow the shape of the blade. There you go. You see a hesitation? Yeah. If, if you look, you'll have hesitation marks on your blade. Right over oh, yeah. here. What does it look like? That looks pretty good. So, when we get to a finishing at the end, we normally put a, a bit of lubricant. We can put either an oil or a wax and the finishing pass is one of the most important and that, that's where you slow down you take your time and again you go look how look at the difference the speed and if you look at it Look at that finishing. And that's what we're Clean. looking for. So, so that's the first, that's the second part for grinding, finishing. We'll come over here. I use a chamois to remove the micro burrs. And because it's a black blade, I don't use an aggressive stone. This is a cer ceramic and I will just pass very lightly on, on the out, out, outer edge not to remove the black edging. I like to use my fingers just to feel. You can pass your fingers on that. Now the true test is we gotta see if we're square. If not, we go back to the machine. We're square. Hey, <laughs> epic! I use a leather. This this will take away any microburrs on on the blade. Thank you so much for showing me that. Yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Enjoy I, your skate. I just helped sharpen my first pair of custom skates from CCM. Boom. Thank you very much, man. Mm -hmm. Obviously, so much. Welcome.